Hi. As we take a look in the next several months at the New Testament and the early givers to the church, we thought it'd be fun to share some of the thoughts of what happens internally um, at CFAD um, as we look at that. And we'll also be looking at some other Bible verses that encourage giving. So keeping the C and CFAD is important to us here at the foundation and with the Catholic faith, stewardship, and sustainability as three of our core values, we made this into kind of a Bible study for us. And so we wanted to share some of the fruits from that study. And so our Bible verse for uh, July and August is comes from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 16. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have. God is pleased by sacrifices of that kind. So this likely came from Paul or his circle, um, and they're addressing the new Christians, Jewish people who are um, have become Christian, and it's to encourage and strengthen their faith. I remind them that their earthly journey uh, to get to heaven is, is what they're going through right now, and that their trials here on earth have some meaning. Christ suffered with us, and uh, this is to give them confidence as they try to reach the kingdom of God. So the final chapter of Hebrews, where our verse is, lends to several themes that one needs to be a part of the faithful to Jesus. The Jewish Christians at the time uh, were experiencing some temptation to abandon the life of the Christian disciple, and not because of external pressure, uh, but rather from the demands that a Christian life um, calls them to be. And so this letter is more of an encouragement to the people to love, to care for the poor, honor marriage, and detach themselves from the love of money. And so ultimately, it really was a rallying cry to continue to imitate the life of Jesus. And through this daily offering, we please God with the sweetest aroma. So Christ was crucified outside the city gates, which is something this verse, or excuse me, that this area, this last chapter of the Bible talks about. And so we are to imitate Christ in that way, um, kind of in that analogy of going outside our comfort zone, going outside the gates, giving up things that um, are worldly in our attachments, which could mean some persecution for us um, as we follow God and those things that we are to sacrifice as Jesus sacrificed for us. So in wrap up again, as Paul said um, in this verse, do not neglect to do good and to share what you have. God is pleased by sacrifices of that kind. So we're curious, what good do you hope to see in the world and for your family? We want to hear your thoughts. Go to this link to input your answer and to learn more on growing our church in the future, just like those in the New Testament did for the generations after them.